Hello and welcome to this Comic Boys tutorial. I'm Ross, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put a mountain in the background of this scene. You can use this technique in many different uh, situations. Let's say you're making your own scene by adding all these different trees and the hills, maybe for a contest on worth1000.com. I don't know, but I would use this technique if you're going to do that. So first you're going to need to open as layers a picture of a mountain that you have gotten previously. I actually have a scene that I took. Uh, I took both of these, so I'll just be using these. And then you're going to go into your eraser tool, click on the fuzzy brush. I set it up to 181 for the scale. And I'm just taking out all the hills. I'm going to be taking out the cloud also because later in this tutorial we're going to be adding our own cloud so we don't need the ones with the actual picture. So you're just going to go in and take out all the clouds. Next, you're going to use your fuzzy select tool and select the background and press delete. Uh, be sure to select all the blue. Then you're going to select all and you're just going to touch it up with your eraser tool so you get all this little uh, blue parts out that the fuzzy select tool didn't catch. Then you're going to move it up so that it's in a nice place that you can see where it's going to be. And then here's, I'm positioning it just above these trees. Then you're going to duplicate the background layer and move the mountain picture under the top background layer. Then you use your fuzzy select tool and select the background of your top picture. And I'm going to turn up the threshold so it selects more of the background. And then I'm just going to press delete. But you have to make sure in your layers that it's an alpha channel so that you can actually delete it. It won't just turn white. Uh, notice also that uh, the fuzzy select tool didn't catch all of these little blue areas of uh, color. So I'm going to use the selection by color tool and select all this blue and press delete. So it gives a better effect that it's actually the mountain is actually behind the trees. I'm turning the opacity down on the mountain just to give it the sense that it's actually farther away. It's not just right in the same distance as the trees. Then I'm going with my fuzzy brush and I turned up the scale of the circle fuzzy 19 and I'm just going around the edges so that they're not as crisp and it looks like the mountain is much further away than it looked like before. Then I'm just adding another layer. You're going to need to have some cloud brushes. I'm going to provide a link of where I got these brushes. So you're just going to click on whichever one you feel will work best and click on the paintbrush tool. You're going to turn the scale down so it's not a huge cloud in the sky. I'm moving the brush dialog box up at the top so that it's easier to select different ones. You can change the spacing. In this part of the tutorial, I'm just uh, using the cloud brushes with white and blue. Uh, in a few seconds I'm going to be using the color light blue but right now I'm just uh, adding some clouds to add to the scene I'm pressing control Z a lot 